Throughout this project, I seek to explore the concepts of remix and interdisciplinary studies. In essence, I'd like to view remix as a metaphor for interdisciplinary procedure. The beginning. That's always the hard part. Once you get into the flow of things, you're always haunted by the way things could have turned out. The uncertainty is what holds the story together. As with remix and interdisciplinary procedure, the uncertainty of the process is where the generation of ideas occur. The tension between ideas and synthesis. As textual theory has it, the language is redistributed. Now such redistribution is always achieved by cutting. Two edges are created, an obedient, conformist, plagiarizing edge, and another edge, mobile, blank, ready to assume any contours, which is never anything but the site of the effect, the place where the death of language is glimpsed. These two edges, the compromise they bring about, are necessary. Neither culture nor destruction is erotic. It is the seam between them, the fault, the flaw, which becomes so. Roland Bart. So, I'll just grab any one of those, paste that into a new window, Elvis. So, if I just go through here and highlight the first kind of percussion hit and just take uh, 0.25 seconds of it. Throughout this process, I view media as a metaphor for ideas. The cutting of them involves tearing down individual ideas into pieces so that they can be remixed and collapsed. The current process of interdisciplinary studies, put forth by Repco, is a 10-step process toward synthesizing knowledge claims from multiple disciplines into an integrated interdisciplinary knowledge claim. The music is its almost a form of DJing, but it's like, I like to think it's the final straw, it's like my own creation, so it's kind of like I'm making these original mixes and original songs out of my favorite stuff. <laughs> This project seeks to travel through the ideas of remix to interdisciplinary procedure using the entry of the cut and in the theoretical vehicle of heretics and art brute. In het verband van de Euromarkt werkzaam hoopt te zijn, werd tijdens een bijeenkomst in de grote filmzaal officieel geopend door de loco. Greg Ulmer argues that theory is assimilated into the humanities in two major ways. Critical interpretation and artistic experiment. I hold that viewing interdisciplinary studies through the lens of remix accomplishes and contributes to both of these. I'm using Greg Ulmer's heretic anti-method to advance the idea of doing interdisciplinary research. So any starting place is fine, cast the image as a gestalt, and juxtapose the gestalt of the image with other images or disciplinary insights. Any part suffices, completeness is never present in disciplinary knowledge. All of knowledge cannot be con contained in one disciplinary insight. The journey, the juxtaposition is the goal toward reaching interdisciplinary insight. Everything in life is a reproduction. All creativity requires reproduction with modification. We are reproductions of our parents who are reproductions of their parents zowel langs magnetische als fotografische weg. Het nieuwe cinecentrum dat niet alleen op de binnenlandse behoeften is afgestemd. Miller says that DJing allows you to use the best of what's out there. I say that remixing allows you to pick and choose the best ideas and to reuse them, to remix them to make your argument. Overall, I contend that this kind of remix will help us to be able to critically engage, to critically examine the concept of how we create things. And moreover, it'll allow us to create more insightful interdisciplinary knowledge. I contend that the very action of remixing, the very idea of treating ideas as small units that should be brought together, synthesized to form a greater whole, 
is generative and a very beneficial activity. I'm taken with Ulmer's concept of anti-method. So instead of following a prescriptive manner of reconstituting different disciplinary insights, this is aggressively kind of aleatory. And while the gestalt restructuring and juxtaposition of ideas might be a little bit haphazard, and perhaps it is, and I readily embrace that, the potential for novelty and creative thinking excites me. Repco tells us that creating involves combining elements, integrating them, or synthesizing to produce something that's new, coherent, and functionally whole. Like right now we're moving into a time where every kid knows how to use Photoshop, and whenever a George Bush makes a speech, there's going to be a thousand kids who take that picture of him making a speech and like put a butt on his face and like an anarchy sign behind his head. And that's just like the norm right now. I'm intrigued by comparing the heretic anti-method, which is itself an artistic experiment, to art brut, or outsider art, which is commonly associated with madness. Lucien Perry, in quoting Jean Debuffet, explains that Debuffet, who first named art brut, took the term madness in a positive sense. While I wouldn't call heretics madness, the novel way that both of these things look at creation is appealing to me. The very act of creating content is essentially a remix of ideas. The music featured in this video is that of Girl Talk, a mashup artist who takes various snips of music from larger bodies of popular work and he remixes them into essentially new creations. While this is legally dubious, the methodology that he employs is very similar to that of interdisciplinary research methodology. Various bits of knowledge from different disciplines are brought together to create one cohesive interdisciplinary knowledge claim. I go on and on and on and we'll take them to the crib unless they're boning. Uh, easy, call them on the phone and go.